Okay, so at this point we've had a fair few issues surrounding the M1 MacBooks. Most of them have turned out to be not an issue at all, such as the whole swap memory debacle and also the USB-C hubs that were supposedly killing MacBooks. Most of those have been debunked. I've made videos on them on my channel. But the one issue that I see continuously mentioned, not only on my own videos, but other M1 MacBook videos, is the fact that the M1 MacBooks can only output to one single external display. And for a lot of people, this is kind of annoying because especially if they use their Mac in clamshell mode, it means you can realistically only have a single display connected to it. So guys, what I'm about to show you will allow you to use your Mac in clamshell mode with two external monitors. Now for some people, this doesn't really matter, but for a lot of people, they use two screens frequently. And a lot of these people have actually gone out and purchased an M1 MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro, thinking that it's gonna work the exact same way as the old Intel ones did, only to get it home and find out that it just doesn't work at all. Now I kind of understand where these people are coming from. Apple doesn't exactly make this very obvious on the website. So in this video, I'm gonna be examining a fix or a solution for this issue in the form of a display link adapter. Now, for those of you who are curious, the M1 Mac mini does not suffer from this issue because it has two different graphical outputs in the form of Thunderbolt via the USB-C connectors on the back and also a HDMI cable. So the solution to this problem is actually getting a display link dock and adapter like this one here from Pluggable. Guys, this is not sponsored by the way. I reached out to Pluggable and asked if they could send this to me for free, but that's it. They're not paying me to say this or anything like that. Pluggable is a pretty good brand. I've used them in the past, which is why I initially reached out to them. Now this particular model here is obviously the dual display port or HDMI display docking station, bit of a mouthful of words, but you should be able to output up to 4K 60 Hertz on two 4K external monitors. Now, if you wanna save a few bucks, you can actually get a 1080p version of this. There are some cheaper options out there, so do check them out. Not just from Pluggable as well, there are other brands that offer this. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox this, set it up, and we're gonna see what the actual experience is like using this on two external displays. Okay, so let's get this bad boy out of the packaging first of all, and we're gonna see what you actually get in the box. So here's obviously the dock. So as you can see, we have some ports on the back there. So some USB ports, ethernet, that's a one gig ethernet port. Uh, and these are the two display link adapters. And this is how you can actually connect this particular dock to your Mac, I'll show you in a second. That's the side. And then the front, you get a couple more USB-A connectors. And then it just kind of sits on your desk like this, nice and neat. So I'll put that to the side and we're gonna have a look and see at what else we get in here. Okay, so we get a couple of power adapters, which is pretty standard. I'll put those to the side. This is the power adapter. So yes, this will need to be plugged into its own separate wall socket. And you also get some cables. So this one here is actually going to allow you to connect your MacBook to the dock via one single cable. So you don't need to get other adapters and other cables. This is all you need. And then we have here just a standard connection, which I probably doubt most of you are gonna be using. So I'll put that to the side. So what I'll do now, guys, is I'll quickly set this up with my M1 MacBook Air and also two external 4K monitors. And we'll test it out and we'll see what the experience is like. Okay, so I've got everything set up and I've got a couple different camera angles here so you guys can see what's going on. So here is the display dock. So I've actually got a HDMI and a DisplayPort cable plugged into the back and then it's connected to my MacBook via a single USB-C cable. And this is just the MacBook charger that came with the Mac as well. You need this plugged in in order to actually be able to use this with clamshell mode and be able to use wireless accessories with the screen shut. And in terms of monitors, so I've got two 4K monitors here. I've got a 4K 60 Hertz one from LG and the Dell UltraSharp 4K 60 Hertz monitor. So you can see that both monitors are coming up. Uh, they're both running at 60 Hertz uh, and they definitely are, I can confirm that because I'm getting the same amount of smoothness as I am on the actual screen of the M1 MacBook Air. So both of them work perfectly fine. Um, you can see I can actually, if I move this logo, see it's working perfectly fine between the two. The transition is fine. 
You will see some very minor difference in colors, guys, just because of the different types of screens, their different panels. But in terms of color uniformity, I haven't really seen any kind of differences or anything like that. You can see they're very, very smooth. So at this stage, it's been a pretty good experience. Now, for those of you guys that do want to use this in clamshell mode, so obviously with the screen shut, you need to be on Big Sur 11.1 at least. And you also need to have the adapter, the power adapter plugged into the MacBook. Okay, so as you guys can see now, I have the MX Keys keyboard from Logitech and also the MX Master Mouse also from Logitech. Great peripherals, guys, by the way. I'll link these down below if you want to check them out. So you can see here that I am connected. My mouse is connected, working totally fine. If I now shut the screen and we can see we're instantly in clamshell mode, uh, I can switch between different tabs here. So I can open up Discord if I wanted to. Everything works perfectly fine. And say, for example, I can have Discord full screen over here, and then I can have a logo, for example, if I'm checking out some graphics on the side here, working totally fine. And again, guys, you can see the refresh rate. You probably can't see it in the actual screen of the camera, but it definitely is 60 hertz. Again, you can confirm that by coming in here to display settings. And in terms of lag as well, I really haven't noticed anything crazy. If I bring up a Word document here, and if we actually start doing some typing, So guys, there's actually no lag at all whilst I'm typing. I can't detect any kind of noticeable delay. So that's really great to see as well. So give me about an hour to actually do some more testing and also do some word and some web browsing and some color correction kind of stuff. And I'll get back to you and give you my thoughts. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour and I have to say it's been a pretty good experience. So like I mentioned before, these two monitors are actually being powered by essentially virtual graphics or a virtual GPU or display adapter. And they both work really well. What I did earlier is I actually connected my Mac mini to one of these monitors natively. So directly with a USB-C cable via Thunderbolt. And then I connected one via the dock and I couldn't tell any difference between the two. There was maybe a tiny little smidge of lag and maybe a couple of glitches every so often, like every 10 or 15 minutes with the DisplayLink monitor. But apart from that, the experience was pretty much seamless across the board. So yeah, I can definitely recommend picking up one of these DisplayLink adapters and using it. Only of course, if you need to use two or three external monitors with your machine, because this definitely does work. And from what I've seen so far, it works really, really well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I answered some questions that you might've had about this particular issue. If you wanna know anything further, do comment down below. But apart from that, I'll catch you in the next one.